Carol Christ is speaking. Mark Fisher is emceeing. We're going to have a bunch of real big name uh, EDM artists. The potential speaker, whoever it's going to be, is like way cooler than any like speaker that was originally lined up. We have Boba. We didn't have as high of an aspiration as we do now to kind of finish it and make it such a big thing. Evan Kwan posted on to Overheard, and from then the thing really took off. We got about 600 new people on our Discord server. We had three to five buildings were being built a day for about a week. How many people have been working on it? Just about a hundred of us. We have a spreadsheet online of what we need to do, kind of all the buildings that we have, and then we prioritize them to see, oh, this one has been done, kind of move on to another one. We have like a, a Argus map, and so we, we use that and a, a measuring tool within that program to measure out all the wall lengths on every single building. And we'll place down an outline of the building and then use Google Street View and Google Earth to figure out how or what the buildings actually look like, how tall they are, what the wall designs look like, build the exteriors and then go in in the interiors with photos that we find, university resources. The university is paying for all of our servers and they've been very gracious about uh, funding that. Since there's so many different facets to this project now, because it was just let's build the campus and now it's, oh, working with the university. Oh, we have this huge musical festival that we're planning. We all kind of nominated people to different positions for, you know, PR, back end stuff, um, build leads. Mainly our team is split up into people who've either been at Berkeley a very long time or didn't get to experience Berkeley for a very long time at all. And so be able to share kind of the like emotional connections with the different buildings is a really cool and interesting experience. Minecraft commencement is something that we were thinking, you know, once the map got to a critical mass, we were definitely interested in doing something like that just because the timeline really matched up and we didn't want to deprive the campus of something. And, you know, the class of 2020 more generally of something that's supposed to be a very celebratory event. We are contacting some very, very big people for keynote speakers. Carol Christ is speaking. Mark Fisher is emceeing. It's, it's going to be as close to a to a real commencement as we can, as anyone can get right now. A fairly limited number of people who will be able to log into the server want to uh, you know log on as soon as we open it. We'll be streaming, and we expect most of our audience to be watching. We've been working with Superb to put together a really exciting music festival. We're going to have a bunch of real big name uh, EDM artists playing back to back. And I think once we're able to open up to a much wider audience, we'll be able to let people from other universities, people from the class of 2020, prospective students, international students, all experience campus in a way that wasn't really possible before. I've gone on to the other servers, like University of Washington, UCLA, Stanford. We have, have the best uh, campus and we also have the most uh, like detailed, um, you know, not to pick beef with any of the other schools, but. Let's pick beef. The thing that's really special about this server is that everyone who builds adds a little character. Everyone has different places on campus that means a lot to them. The Chris Gay Engineering Library is on fire because, you know, trauma. <laughs> uh, a couple of us have gone through and uh, customized the textures so that all the armors look like Cal gear and graduation gear. We got the little, like, emojis that the Kiwi wants to do. Brain like Berkeley. We have Boba. Someone came on the server yesterday that lived at Unit 1 and said they had post-it notes of Pac-Man. So every every little detail really makes it like a little more emotional, a little more, a little easier to relate to. And in VLSB, someone built the T-Rex skeleton. The Chancellor liked that a lot. Wow. Wait, so did you guys like log on with the Chancellor and show her all of this or did she? So, no, she logged on with us. Yeah. Carol just came on randomly. They had told her her official name. And we're like, oh, okay, the chancellor's here. We have we have UCPD set up. I literally got a three hundred dollar ticket That's from biking in a, in a no bike zone. Try to put all of the little hidden bears statues that are around campus. It's hard to kind of talk to like older generation about this project because to us it's kind of like this is completely natural. Like our generation kind of looks for those virtual communities to hang out. We've all been stripped of the community at Berkeley, so I think the project is more about trying to substitute that community in a virtual in a virtual world. There's definitely been a lot of positive comments that we've had and a lot of a lot of hope and inspiration from others to kind of say, oh, these people are not like trying to be all doom and gloom. They're really trying to make something better out of our circumstances.